what we're going to start with today. April, if you don't know this, is Missing Persons Awareness Month here in the state. Now, every year, a local nonprofit pays for these billboards to display missing persons. This year, there are multiple billboards around the area, and they are in all corners of the state as well, sharing photos and information about missing loved ones. Last year, 516 people went missing in this state alone. 507 missing people were found, including those who were missing before 2022. Brittany Schmidt looking more closer, Lee, more closely into this today. Thanks very much. So <laughs> let's talk about the billboards. Those things are not cheap. So who raises the money and puts those up? Right. So the president of this group that was created back in 2017 is the Wisconsin Missing Person Advocacy Inc. And uh, Marsha Lawrence, she is the president of it. So it's a missing persons advocacy group that they raise money throughout the year to then buy these billboards. And like you said, it, they're in all corners of the state. Mm -hmm. They have five of them and they'll continuously rotate through photos of people missing in those certain areas, just kind of reminding so the public. So they're targeted They regionally. are to those areas, okay. yep. Um, and it's really just to remind people that these people are still missing. You may not hear about them every day because there may not be new updates on their cases or anything like that. Um, but it's really just a reminder that that little bit of information could be the key to finding this person or or getting answers to where this person might be. We mentioned that uh, over 500 people were found that had been mm -hmm. missing. Can they draw a connection between the billboards in, in certain cases, is there a direct correlation there? So I asked Marsha that. She says she, you know, it's hard to, to anecdotally keep track sure. of that uh, from a ground level, but she says there are ones that we put up on these boards that are then found. She, she listed a couple of them in tw around 20, she said, but she doesn't want to take the chance of not putting it up there and, and not finding right. this person. So she says, uh, she'll continue to do it. All right, so we mentioned it's it's uh, Missing Persons Awareness mm -hmm. Month. This month is drawing to a close. But how yeah. can people get involved? If they want to help and keep the search alive, mm -hmm. if you will, uh, how do they get involved? So when talking to Marsha today, she has a missing person in her life. She the, Today actually marks 10 years since her mom, Victoria Prokopovitz, went missing. So 10 years today, um, her stepdad was actually convicted mm -hmm. of the murder. That's a case we covered and talked about Exactly. For a long I know time. Sarah Thompson has talked to her plenty of times. Right. Um, and so when, when I was talking to her about this and how personal it is, she says, you know, if you see something on Facebook, a missing person, share it because you never know, even if you don't know that person or have any information to share, just by clicking share might get to that right person to then help find the, you know, those answers. And then this weekend, they actually have a missing persons um, awareness event at the Brown County Sheriff's Office. It's an annual event where they have plenty of things there to help people kind of get involved, how to spread awareness, all of those things. So there's plenty to do. All right, Brittany, thanks so much. Very interesting stuff as this mm -hmm. month draws to a close.